Um, we then turn to the specific angle and question of the bilateral relationship between Italy and Azerbaijan, and in particular the growing economic relations which have between the two partners, which is really at the crux uh, underlying much of, uh, of this program. Um, and then a couple of months ago, we held a major international conference, which was not only obviously looking at Azerbaijan, but it was looking more broadly uh, at uh, various issues uh, to, related to the Caucasus and its relation to both uh, the United States, uh, the European Union, but also uh, the Caucasus explored in a more global context, the more global context in which we see uh, an, a, a growing role of emerging powers, uh, be it uh, China, Russia, uh, and as well as regional powers such as Iran. So the topic of today's discussion is that of gender balance and the role of women in Azerbaijan, a highly interesting topic uh, given the particular role that women do have uh, in Azerbaijan as a secular uh, Muslim country. But let me not take up uh, more of your time and, and perhaps pass on the floor to Nolan Kedisa, who's in charge of, uh, of this group. Thank you, Natalie. You already mentioned the topic of our center, gender balance and the role for a woman in the margin. As we know, scholars from um, various disciplines have devoted extensive uh, studies and attention to the issues of gender and Islam um, in the diverse uh, part uh, of, of the world. Um, however, the less attention has been paid to these uh, issues uh, in, in Azerbaijan. Uh, there are also from Thank you. 
symptom in this case. And uh, actually, um, it's um, a great word is very uh, for the um, day on their reintegration into the society because it's it's very it's uh, very important. And uh, so we try to make best in order to provide this refugee and other people with the um, deserved education, the medical insurance, the normal living standards. And uh, we have the state in campus, uh, the state uh, campus program on combating daily violence in the market of society, uh, in framework of which the women refugees and women artists, they offer uh, comprehensive range of services. Well, which is, um, it, it includes the uh, reduction of employment, unemployment among them, and also increased. Uh, I would like to thank um, the, the Italian Institute for International Affairs in first place for inviting me and the audience today for coming to this talk. Um, well, I was already introduced, um, so you know my, my background. Um, just as long as had it, I had a very, I got a very bad back, and uh, so I was lying in bed for most of the morning. So, um, so you have to excuse me if I keep. Not very good. Anyway, okay, so um, I'll start now. Um, my talk is, um, well, I was asked to talk about um, Soviet legacies um, concerning gender equality or inequality uh, for um, women, and um, also a bit about Islamic revival in Azerbaijan. Um, and I guess in particular um, among women, that is one of the women. Uh, now, I have to say that um, what my uh, friend Ian has mentioned um, is um, giving you a picture from sort of top down um, governments and the, the cities, the metropolitan areas in Italy. In a few decades, there was a big progress. But uh, it was only in 1975 that was uh, uh, approved uh, the reform of uh, uh, family legislation uh, in Italy. Until 1975, even juridically, for several aspects uh, of the social life, the women in Italy were considered less than the men. For what concerns uh, who is the chief of the family, until 1975 was the husband. Uh, and, uh, and several other things, uh, other human rights topics can be different, but for what concerns uh, the women rights, uh, I see that uh, uh, Azerbaijan uh, is uh, really caring about the implementation of the international human rights standards. Uh, Azerbaijan is uh, a part of uh, the international uh, convention on the elimination of every form of discrimination against women. And this uh, implies an active role, because the title itself of the convention is uh, against discrimination. It's not just in favor of women, but uh, implies that a state party must uh, implement a legislation to eliminate the existing discrimination either in the legislation or in, in the practical uh, aspects uh, of the social um, As I said, Azerbaijan is also part of the Council of Europe. In uh, 2011, uh, within uh, the frame of the Council of Europe, uh, was adopted a specific convention on preventing and combating violence against women and domestic violence. Uh, it uh, will uh, enter into force when uh, uh, at least uh, there will be 10 ratifications, eight of which must be member states of the Council of Europe, although the Convention is open also to non-member uh, states. Uh, till now, only three states, uh, as, far, uh, as I know, ratified the Convention. Azerbaijan uh, didn't do yet, but not even Italy did. 
uh, and uh, I think that uh, uh, Azerbaijan will uh, soon uh, ratify also this uh, Council of Europe Convention on preventing and combating violence against the women. And this will be another important uh, uh, instrument, another tool to uh, adequate the, the level of protection uh, of, uh, of women. Uh, to protect uh, the women against uh, violence uh, means, uh, of course, not only uh, to ratify convention or to do very specific uh, steps in the, in the legislation uh, to fight the violence itself, but means also to, uh, to hide the status of uh, women fight against uh, poverty, to fight against uh, the, the flag of the internally displaced people that we mentioned, and, uh, and to try of solving some uh, persisting social uh, problems, uh, like gender-based uh, discrimination within the family context, uh, on the, the work, and, and so on. So, uh, there are uh, several reports, uh, I quote for instance, uh, just uh, uh, summarizing uh, the report uh, by the United Nations Fund uh, um, for uh, Population, uh, that uh, several times uh, uh, analyzed uh, the data about uh, women <coughs> condition in Venezuela <coughs> as well as in other countries. And uh, uh, this uh, is very important. Not meaning educating the women, but uh, especially educating the men. So I, I always would like to be more educated. Please do this with me. I'm sure I, I need it. And uh, a few years ago, in an international conference, I had the pleasure. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Bussal uh, from Azerbaijan, uh, one of the uh, biggest NGO. Uh, name is Asayek. Uh, my question is to Ms. Hayat. Uh, you just mentioned uh, some uh, information about students, uh, the book, women who cannot go abroad to study, or uh, some restriction. Uh, you mentioned there is some restriction uh, when the girls uh, going abroad, but... Uh, You just uh, said uh, there is a family don't agree let the girls, uh, females go abroad to study. Some. Some. Uh, what, uh, what's the mean some? Uh, if I live in Azerbaijan, uh, I didn't see the, like, this, the situation the, since the first. And if you uh, look at our room, there's the same students who study in Italy, half of them is the girls. Three girls, four boys. It's one. The second, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Just stand you. Just uh, mentioned that some international uh, liberation, uh, but I won't uh, say one thing. Uh, when we talk uh, human rights, we have to mention uh, one convention, the uh, Geneva Convention, uh, civilians under enemy control. As you know. Uh, after Armenian uh, occupied Azerbaijan ter uh, territory, many of uh, your uh, women are now under uh, enemy control. So I think like this conference, we have to mention this problem also, not just a uh, problem of human rights in Azerbaijan and others. Thank you. Thank you very much for an interesting discussion. Uh, my name is Elnur uh, and I am a student from Azerbaijan and I am a student from Regatta. Uh, I have two questions. My first question is uh, to Mrs. Hea. Uh, you emphasized uh, some problems. Yes, I agree that there are some problems. But uh, what or who is responsible for these problems? Because these problems stems from uh, culture and morality. It is not uh, the problem of our legal order. And should state or government intervene 
this private relation or not? My first question is. And the second question is to Mr. Stanner, is that banning uh, hijab, uh, hijab does not mean niqab, because niqab is absolutely different thing. Uh, hijab is covered, yeah. uh, is violation of uh, human rights, especially the Convention of uh, the Article 9 of the European Convention. Thank you. Hello, this is Daniel Fournier. Uh, I don't know if you read the Italian newspaper or the Italian news uh, uh, in the last weeks. Uh, our uh, president of the Republic, Giorgio Napolitano, was actually criticized by Germans and by uh, women intellectuals, uh, writers, uh, uh, members of parliament, women, for not... Uh, and some men too criticized. Yeah. Well, yes, <laughs> was, was criticized for not having chosen any woman in this uh, uh, so-called uh, commission of the wise men, the ten wise men who should help him to solve this uh, uh, terrible political deadlock in which uh, Italy is. And this problem of numbers uh, is very vivid in Italy, uh, uh, sometimes, often, uh, women in politics and economics decry about the number of women in uh, as CEOs, as uh, member of governments, as members of commissions. I remember that last uh, last year, uh, women in the Italian Parliament blocked the appointments uh, made, made by the parliamentary commission uh, for the reason of uh, there not uh, there no were women enough. So I want to know if in Azerbaijan there is a, uh, a gender problem uh, in the political sphere as vivid as uh, it is uh, in, uh, in Italy where uh, now uh, our president was uh, literally uh, destroyed for not having found a wise woman uh, to help him to solve the crisis. Good day, I'm Kevin Aliva. I study in the uh, Universidade de Estudela Matre. I just, I will not ask anything, I just want to say that I heard many things about um, women in Azerbaijan. Uh, I lived there about 20 years and um, my family lived there and uh, at this moment uh, everyone, when they heard about Azerbaijan, everyone thinks that we uh, wear hijab, we are not going anywhere, but it's not like this because uh, we are independent enough. For example, my mom lets me go somewhere at after 7 o'clock, or I can study abroad, I can go somewhere to visit. And about uh, five days ago we made um, a site for forum and there have been about 500 students from Azerbaijan and there have been also girls. I don't know uh, where everyone takes such kind of information, but uh, Azerbaijan at this moment is really very modern and much more modern and independent than other countries. And that's all. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Vidaxa. I'm a fine student here at the Grove. Thank you very much for this conference, it's very interesting. I just have a few questions. For example, I was wondering, what's the typical size of a family in Azerbaijan? Uh, how many kids do, does a family usually have? And what are the opportunities for women to live the kids in a inner garden or some place that is not, expect, not so much expensive so that they can go to work? And how do women feel about this discrimination? Do they see the discrimination? Do they try to fight for it? Or is it, or is it just internationally speaking that we want to help the women in Azerbaijan? Thank you. Uh, I think for some of the people,
And besides that, all those state programs, all the state programs of poverty reduction, all of them, they include the region development in the first stage. And even the, uh, the ministries and the state bodies now, they have opened their agencies in the region. For example, even the state of the poverty communities, they now have 11 regional uh, uh, so representations. So it's, it's easier for a woman, for example, to come and apply, not to go to, to come to Baku, but apply at the places where to. Uh, and um, the development of the regions is the priority now. And so the universities, the vocational schools, uh, especially for women, for girls, are open in the region. So it's not only to Baku, it's the all regional development that all the countries develop now. Uh, for um, uh, the questions about this, uh, like we, we have the questions of um, women's. In, in, uh, in other words, I, I, I will ask the question and I will close a little bit to this Hayat because um, you know, in, uh, in Azerbaijan, uh, we always traditionally have this respect to the woman and if to say of the equality. In Azerbaijan, we have, we all, like, there's this, the councils of, so we said, Aksak Kals, it, it's the older uh, men, but we have also the uh, Agbir Czechs, it's the older women. So it, they are equally. So if there is the...